good morning friends so it's good afternoon now but when i came it was a morning and a very fine morning um i was very pleasantly surprised uh, once i entered the the red door of the center because seeing the modernity and seeing the design and seeing the you know the vision and uh, the collection taken from some archive of all the photographs which are historic showing our prime ministers their china's prime ministers together it's uh, extremely memorable and something that is uh, very historic so i congratulate uh, everyone who has participated in the center observer research foundation surendra kulkarni he has a great vision for india and china and a vision which uh, he is trying to implement with a lot of zeal and energy i thank the uh, vice chancellor for being generous in providing this building and the space and the reliance foundation it is very credible that uh, civil society like the reliance foundation and institutions like the observer research foundation have got together not only with the maharashtra government but with the indian government and the chinese government everyone's come together to put together this center and as mr kulkarni said uh, and as also my colleague sitaram kunte has also mentioned that these centers are very important in fostering good relations between our two great nations india and china as mr kulkarni has said and as everyone knows they are two very ancient civilizations but what is important they are continuing civilizations all the other ancient civilizations like the greek civilization or the roman civilization or the mesopotamian the, or the babylonian egyptian they're all gone they're all dead but china and india are the two ancient civilizations which continue and it continues because of scholars like ji shinlan in earlier times you had uh, scholars like fahian yunsan they crossed the himalayas and they studied the indologists so they came to study buddhism they came to study indian culture and language they went to the university of nalanda so now we are reviving that tradition there's a uh, it is like what chairman mao has said this center is a great leap forward or he might even say that this is a great cultural revolution by establishing centers like these and uh, i'm happy to also learn that there's a lot of uh, exchange between students from china and india because these students will become our future ambassadors of goodwill between our two nations and they will lay the foundation of a more enduring and lasting friendship between our two countries so i now see the center becoming a, a sort of nerve center for a lot of activities and uh, i must say that the consul general uh, as long as here he is here in mumbai he will make sure that the center has is living up to its potential because i've noticed uh, he has done a lot on his own to improve relations between our two countries he brought down a lot of delegations from china which i've had the privilege of receiving a lot of vips have come to china he's organized trips of our leaders we just saw the holy water diplomacy which is entirely his initiative bringing the holy water of manasarovar and putting it into the holy waters of uh, the godavari during the kumbh mela so that makes it ultra holy this is something very creative and uh, I congratulate him for that. So there are a lot of initiatives that uh, we can take, and this center, I'm sure, will generate a lot of new ideas on how we can bring our two countries together. And we must revive the old uh, concept or the old slogan of "Hindi Chini Bye Bye." Uh, it, sh it should never become "Hindi Chini Bye Bye." It should always be "Hindi Chini Bye Bye." And um, I look forward to the day that this uh, center will be inaugurated. We'll come again, and we shall keep a close. Uh, watch and we we'll try to help because my job as uh, the chief of protocol is something like uh, being uh, um, the foreign secretary for maharashtra and that is how to increase the goodwill between nations how to make this world a better place a more peaceful place and that can only happen if we understand each other better if you don't understand each other if you don't know what's happening on the other side of the border there'll always be misgivings there'll always be mistrust even fear so this removes all that it brings about great understanding we we know we will learn their language their culture they will learn our language our culture we will know how they think they'll know how we think so all this means that borders become 
meaningless and the world becomes truly global. So thank you for organizing this uh, function. Thank you for calling me. Thank you, uh, Shri Sumit Malik.